Hey everyone, my name is Kerry Wolf and welcome to another glitchy adventure of Homestuck. The condescension has, you know, descended upon us with her airship or whatever the hell that is, being super pissed off. And then the ugly curtains closed on our glitchy adventure and now we must return to Caliborn's Axe, which is Act 6, Act 6, Act 3. <laughs> More of this like More, how to draw manga. Maybe you should get a book on how to draw some curtains, dude. You know, work out improving that art. Welcome back again. Your unimpatience has been appreciated. What's this horse thing? I can only assume that waiting for the next installment of my vaunted series Homo Suck was as time consuming for you as it was for me. There's every time we go here, this is like so meta because he his thing, he's treating it like it's a webcomic. But like Homestuck is a webcomic, but it's like, why is his a webcomic? Who is reading this? <laughs> nobody. I mean, I guess we are, but no, nobody is reading this. I have been working my ass off, like one of your human motherfuckers, as at perfecting my craftsmanship. You are probably wondering if the fruits of my laborious toil were extremely successful. I believe you will find the answer to be the following word. Yes! What the heck is this? Did you make that? Oh my god. I've done it. Where the fine arts are concerned, I have reached the pinnacle of Achievement Mountain. I stab my cane into the peak like a flag, thus making a snowy avalanche. On to the haters below. Jealous much, fat ass? How did I do such a sensational feat? You ask. Nobody asks. What is this? Is this a new outfit? Why is everything zooming and shaking? I don't like it. The mystery to success lay hidden amidst the Byzantine mangas all along. These occult wizardries of the brush, purloined from cool scrolls of wise men from the earthly east, have been gathered for my studious perusal inside a seductive tome, emblazoned with a frivolous tart. However, mastering each sly gambit of the trade is no easy task, and yet easily mastering them with great difficulty is exactly what I did. This fact is called a game changer. Um, I don't know what bullshit you're talking about dude, but okay. To professionals in the business, that is. Previously, before I literally transformed into the supreme doujinshi mangaka, standing before your very eyes, I made some predictable plans regarding what goes next in my story. Everything he says is so obnoxious. I get everything ready. I drew all of the trolls. Look, all of your favorites are here. Uh, crab, crab, <laughs> home friend, cape douche. Surprisingly, very accurate names. Crab, Crab, Hall, Friend, and Cape Douche. Oh, gross, he even drew that thing. Ugh. Smelly Horseman, other guy, Bullhorn Wimp. Bullhorn Wimp? Why are these so accurate? It's hilarious. Other guy. Oh, so goddamn rude, man. Unless we forget. A salty array of miscellaneous bitches. God, I hate that they all have like the same freaky ass eyes. <laughs> Good thing Trezzy's eyes are being blocked by the shades. Da bitches. Oh, also? The before trolls. The before trolls. <laughs> In case of emergency. Oh, okay. Why are they drawn so half ass? Not even half ass, man. It's like less than half ass. They're literally just like the negative colors of the other ones that you drew. Such as in case I was in need of more fictitious idiots to murder inside my drawings. But these portraits are now a moot point. Why? He just dumps all the- what? What? Why are you drawing it all away? Why are you throwing all your assets away? All of this wretched trash goes in the place where it belongs. Which is to say, the garbage. That's what happens when you are an artist. Sometimes you change your idea plans because they suddenly seem terrible due to your astronomical strides and creative mastery. These were the pixel puppets of a laughable amateur. They're beneath me now, much like you are. But in spite of all of your bad shortcomings, I will let you observe my artistic breakthroughs because of how proud of them I am and watching people be impressed at my drawings, even dumb jerks. Makes me feel great about myself and my accomplishments. Behold, my exclusive private gallery is going to be more like, you know, <laughs> I was going to say more of the copy and paste stuff, but what is this? I am your lord, DeviantArt.com. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mang Gaka extraordinaire. Annoying. Traditional art professional. Ugh. 
Caliborn male slash unknown why? Uh. Abra ka fucking Dabra, you nasty shit nerds. Read it and weep. And tell me how good you think it all is. Thanks. Uh the only thing good is this one. And you copy that off the book that Gamzy gave you, so just a cheap move. Okay, that's enough admiration. Back to our story. Copyright. What the hell is this? Do not steal. Look who just swaggered into your fucking business? It's God's gift. To the Yowies, my research tells me. Get a load of those baby reds. You may recollect that this blushing but shonen dreamboat- Ew? Ew? <laughs> this is my property. Even his watermarks are obnoxious as hell. Is our alpha male. Not that I blame you for not recognizing him. From his was previously odious visage, of course. I mean, of before. But now, by my skillful hand, this gorgeous male hero has been allowed to radiate with the supreme divinity of boy manga heaven. Oh my, what have we here? <laughs> now he's just drawing yaoi. Don't look now, but another bashful bishi approaches the stage. I think you might have been reading the how to draw manga book a little bit too much, dude. It's our troll male, crab guy. Quite a temper, this one. He belows himself hoarse daily at our smart talking. Give no fuck, alpha male. These moya boys bring put the pal and palatable chemistry? The kind of which is bad as well as erotic? The sage elders of manga describe the quadrant they occupy as I quote, Sundere, it is a temp temptuous liaison, liaison of mutual grievance. <laughs> and yet deep down, they know in each other's heart that they are solid dudes. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Do you do? Do you? If you know what I'm thinking, why why would you write this? <laughs> Stop. What? Oh, step off. This is wrong. What's going on here? The touching? The tenderness? I know it. You know it. Let's not play a game with each other. Where, perchance, are the bitches? I can hear you ask. You raised an excellent point nobody asked, dude. But hear me out. Dude, what the hell? What the hell? The manga is played by different rules. You'll agree with this. When you hear the facts of my rationale, naturally, such maudlin displays of touching and simpering have no place. We're only cocksure masculine gentlemen are present. However, by the mangaka's illusionary, he changes everything. Where before our males were coarse, chiseled, and cruelly angular, built for a prime time, like a fucking garbage truck, <laughs> what? Plowing through the wall? Are you talking about the Kool-Aid man? Of an industrial beef mill, so cut, so maxed out, that they could only provoke inside a young man, thoughts of raw power, never debauchery, until now that is, because of manga and its inherent capability to transform all that is hard and cruel into figures of some blind beauty, I find this ar artifice to be much like the siren spell of the trickster, yet impossibly even more haunting in its allure. I must say, the artistic ploy is ingenious. His whole story is just him, like, bragging about himself. <laughs> it opens up so many possibilities to the fiend of indecent smut, where before, it was all but impossible to render truly sentimental imagery without resorting to babes and bimbos galore due to the utterly unacceptable happenstance wherein macho guys are physically poignant with each other, which to reasonable men is the most unwelcome persuasion of lechery. Or that is, it was, until now. Look how smart this hoax is, thanks to manga, see? Through the elegance of beauty and finesse, it softens the uncouth male exterior, beveling the angles of pure muscle, taming his incredible angriness and by the flushing of cheeks, the dewy of brow, the glassing of eyes one brings out of any brute, his true inner bishi, which actually is manganese, for a beautiful fucking dude. Is this like the summary for a yaoi manga? <laughs> right in the back of the manga we turn over? Like, here's the summary for this story. <laughs> if you're confused, basically the idea is, you pretend them to look more like girls to make it less weird for everybody when they decide to touch each other. I mean, it is repulsive to witness. Do not get me wrong. But yet, it remains. Uh, don't you lie to me, Calibor. I know you love this shit. Magical and it's forbidden... Forbiddenality? The <laughs> artwork by... Calibor. <laughs> oh, so dumb. Oh, but what's this? 
Ill, dude? Ill? Copyright material protected by law. And amorous female sachets into the sexual picture to spoil the boy fun. G gross, dude. Gross. It's none other than what's her face. So rude and so gross. Don't be deceived by the fact that this feline floozy is too unimportant for me to bother naming. This is an original character. You are like the plagiarizer of the plagiarizers, man. You're plagiarizing everything. Who should not be stolen? Please respect my property. This saccharine twit has some interests which include Number one, giggling. Number two, making me puke. Number three, using cat words instead of normal words. Number four, serving no purpose. Number five, wearing stupid clothes. Number six, probably smelling horrible. Number seven, getting murder in drawings. How dare you do ill? See? Yeah, oh. Uh, can someone say own? Moving on. Well, 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 well. What have we here? Uh, uh is all horrid. This image is the private belonging of a professional. Hello, boys. This plucky strumpet seems to say with her eyes. Her eyes, which are blocked by glasses? Okay. She is looking to horn the fuck in on our two top dogs' illegal passion paradise. She is no doubt hoping, hoping for mucha, muchas smooches. Fat chance, sister. Idiot girl number whatever likes. Duh. This is so horrible. One, total failure. Two, getting friend zoned by quality male honchos. Three, living in perpetual disgrace. Four, being a complete fucking dirt wheel to some cool dudes. Five, not being worth the alpha male's time of day. Six, not being worth the crab crab's time of day. All of this is so rude. <laughs> Seven, not being worth anything, aka worthless. <sighs> I'm fucking kill you, man. <laughs> Feel free to steal this one. Bye. Here comes another prime OC of mine, hot off the press. Who the hell is this? <laughs> is this Frisco? <laughs> Registered with the government as my legal artistic possession. Ugh. Not too shabby, right? You can just tell this lucky lady is brimming with chispas. Me thinks, me thinks she will be a very controversial character with excessive complications and ambiguous moral stuff and her personality bullet points, her traits and other such character things will be a lot to list. Which is fine, because it will help you believe my creation is more interesting. In fact, this is one such advantage of dominating all no manga as I have done. Were well, you this good and brilliant? You don't even really need to tell stories anymore. You can just make some characters and list their various qualities extensively, and that's good enough. The many, many intriguing personal facts of this truculent female provocator shall be list listed extensively. You're such a dick, dude, and your story is literally just plagiarizing, but like, made horribly. As follows... Oh god, you just chopped her head off. <laughs> Psych out. She actually thought she was going to be relevant? Keep dreaming, bitch. Oh, harsh, dude. I- it think- what? It think we've wasted enough time on these nobodies? Uh, you suck, dude. Okay, your story sucks, you suck, everything sucks. Don't you? Let's drop the bullshit and stop fucking around. You are probably wondering, who is responsible for all this mayhem, you ask? Uh oh, here he comes. <laughs> is this Lord English? <laughs> Hold the fucking phone. Don't look now, but it's none other than the big man himself. Damn. <laughs> Why is Lord English such a bishi? <laughs> Just... Damn. <laughs> who, you ask, is this broody beautiful dude? This is yours truly. <laughs> he... <laughs> I have no words for this. My self-insertion guy, which is my prerog prero prerogative to do as an artist. I learned this from my master, the wise-ass ghost who haunted my computer. He was the best there was at stuff like this. He told me once, truly, he was quite a piece of shit. Seriously, can I get a goddamn? Goddamn, bro. <laughs> Holy smokes. Ask any decorated scholar to the school of manga, and he will say, before you stands the yowiest motherfucker who ever lived. All things about this gorgeous bastard tell you loud and clear. This is a man of class and style. He is just to kill. Literally, ha, uh, yes. Look at this fancy Dan strutting his stuff and dapper as fuck. Your boy here? Peacock's heart and hole needs aplenty. Nagging the bitches and closing the holes in a coat that is fit for a lord? Look at that goddamn coat. I don't know how he gets that coat. 
Probably due to a shenanigan that takes place later. I doubt it matters that much. It looks great though and I love it. Also, how about a hat? Okay, why is the hat a real picture of a hat? What the heck? Is this you staring into the screen and the screen is reflecting your face back? What's that shit? What's that fucking something? Fucking damn? Fucking incredible. Sure, why not? The hat is not canonical to my fanon, but I do not see the harm in such a dignified accessory. Ah, uh, yes, perfect. Who could ever be accused of being an asshole while wearing that? Nobody. Oh, also, sick, nasty, green electricity wings? Fucking check. I think we are good to go here. Big man, holler for your woman. He did change his shirt. Oh, John's here. Your self-insert character sucks, dude. <laughs> his woman, the elaborate tramp from the surface of the tome, hustles to the side of her debonair hotshot. My lady, he doffs rationally. The man brims with in in intellectual ideas she wouldn't understand. He knows many things. About the world? And being strong? But yet, he still doesn't know who she is. The goddess of manga, perhaps? It is no matter. She must bow down before her lord, as must you all someday. Goddess of manga, bow down. John, kick his ass, please. He he, he sucks. So bad. She bows before you submissively, submissively in a subservient manner. Everything is correct about the situation. You think she's really attractive? And it makes you feel weird, physically ill, and yet, unlike your sister, she knows her place and has no opinions or words to remark about. I imagine, like, he's just literally here drawing and saying everything out loud. So then John is, like, staring. What the fuck is wrong with him? I don't know John a lot, apparently. I mean, not to imply that any other aspect of her is like your sister ill. Not being attractive. I mean, like being attractive. Wow, what? Read it into stuff much? You decide you have too much time on your hands. You stop thinking about this topic starting as of immediately. All is well and ideal again, without you blurting out unnecessary <laughs> sexy scandals. It is almost a bit too ideal, you think. Hmm. Something is a miss. Yeah, something is a myth. A lot, actually. What is this? A, a giant question mark. Is this John? <laughs> hey, you go in for a closer look at the eyes of the handsome boy's appearance and notice a worrisome discrepancy. What? 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 I don't see anything. No, this is all wrong. You frown. These glassy red peppers are peepers. Lovely though they are, are not your lord's final form. Oh no, his eyes are supposed to flicker about. Yeah, these are probably Dave's eyes. Oh god, that's demonic. With the hat flavors of my loyal frog puppet guys, legend demands this is a trait of supreme invisibility owed to a full body union. With the clockwork magi, magi, mac jack, <laughs> the clockwork bullshit. I don't know why that's supposed. What I don't know why that's supposed to happen yet, but maybe we'll find out together. Hey asshole, I'm talking to you. <laughs> this is a giant ass screen that he's drawing shit on. Wait, is this outfit his god tier outfit? And that would explain it, I guess, but... <laughs> uh, John is so angry, and I, I feel his anger, man. Like, I really do. Because he sucks. His story sucks, and he sucks. <laughs> Another intense stare down. <laughs> but this time, John's gonna kick your ass before he hopefully zaps away. Maybe. Is this intense stare down gonna end soon? <laughs> I forget who this is. Is this Liv Tyler? Or is this someone else? I can't remember. I also don't know why they're here, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's you, isn't it? John, what, what are they like? No. <laughs> You're the guy who wrote that horrible story with all the fake Daves. You're behind all this, aren't you? I don't know how I know that, but I can just feel it. You're the one who Friska and her pirate pals are all trying to stop. See, John, John is smarter than we all thought, man. We gave him less credit than he really deserved. It was you who put all this into motion in some way. I don't really understand. Which means you're responsible for like a trillion people dying and universes blowing up and all my friends getting scattered around and acting like idiots and my dad being dead. Okay, maybe you're not totally responsible for us acting like idiots. Most of that is on us, but all that other bad stuff is your fault somehow, isn't it? I'm gonna kick your ass. Yes, John. Oh, finally, the moment we have been waiting for. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have haters. You have two haters, actually. I'm also a hater, but I, I, I just hope John kicks your ass. As you can see, the former ghost of the male hero has come back to haunt me. This is not his first unwelcome intrusion into my private important affairs. Who are you talking to? Technically, it will not be his last either, but it will mark the first time he is forced to pay a toll for his rude teleportation crime. Oh yes, the day he will pay. With his teeth and with his blood. Um, Game over, kid. Is it though? Is it? Oh god, his eyes are rotating in characters or some crap. I don't even. I don't even. Understand. Game over, apparently. What is happening? All the. <laughs> John is like, oh, what is this? He's being defeated by all the horrible drawings. Oh, what? What? Act 6? Act 6 Admission 3? <laughs> what? Also, whose art style is this supposed to be? <laughs> it's all happening very fast. Okay, Kanaya is rushing in to kill Gamzee's ass. Aradia pushes her off. Karkat's also coming. Uh, Karkat's are going faster, actually. Because <laughs> he really hates his ass. Okay, Gamzee pushes Trezzy off and then... Karkat... Oh. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, dude. Oh shit. Damn, dude. I think you're dead. That's your second life. Oh shit, you're dead. Oh my god, guys. He dead. Oh no. Oh my god. Kanaya. Chop him in half. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit, Jake. That's a heroic death, my dude. Okay, Jay's on her quest bed or some crap? Oh, oh, oh shit. Okay, this is getting way too complicated, guys. So many deaths. Smack. <laughs> he puts his glasses back on. Egbert kick. Oh, blam, blam, blam. Dude, bro. Oh, he bit him. Hike. Uh, Cape? Cape what? Oh god, Gamzee is so insane. Oh, shit! She sliced him in half, and not the direction that I thought she would go for, but nice. Oh. Actually, I think she just- <laughs> turns like, ew, blood! <laughs> Dude, Dave is holding up his own. Damn, he's- Okay, okay. Her condescension is going crazy, too. Oh, and she's destroying everything. Okay, guys, I think everybody's dead. Story over. Oh no, Dave! They're killing all my characters! Uh oh, heroic death. Actually, I think all of these are heroic deaths, so not good, guys. Not good. <laughs> it's stupid Caliborn. It's just like. Oh my god, John. I feel like we really need some time powers right now and undo all this. Yeah, he's heroic death. She's a just death. Oh my god, this is terrible. Okay, and Aradia is going insane. Okay, she- okay, too much is happening. <laughs> too much crazy stuff is happening. Right now it's better to be a ghost because this is too much. Imagine having to deal with all this shit. <laughs> Run away, Rose. I don't want you to die too. Oh god, Terezi coming too. Guys, guys. Right now is a good time to- oh, sh oh no. Like seriously, everybody is dying. Aradia is killing everyone too, like, girl, I thought you were supposed to be helping us. But you kind of got insane and just everyone's murdering everyone. Whoop, she's dead. Oh, Roxy, oh no. You're gonna die too. I just know it. Okay, so she teleported her out of the way, I guess? I don't know. What if Roxy could use her void powers and like revive everyone some weird way? Oh, damn. She has stronger psychic powers, apparently. Gosh, that's a scary fish monster. <laughs> Radia's like, oh, I didn't sign up for this. Damn, John. More violent than I ever thought you were. But good good for you. He needed an ass kicking. He really did. He was just an insufferable brat. He really needed to learn some lessons here.
what? Bitch, what? X6 access animation to already in progress. Oh uh, yeah. What the hell, dude? Why'd you kill all my characters? <laughs> okay, so right now, I think only Roxy and Dirk are still alive. Because Dirk is still trying to come here. It takes three hours, guys. My god, the commute is horrible. And then Roxy... Well, she escaped, I guess? Like, she teleported or something? I didn't know she could do that. I thought she only had void powers. And I think Rose is kind of dead. Dave is dead. Jade is still dead, I should say. Uh, but Jade is dead, so no more reviving powers, guys. Why? <laughs> Why is everyone just dead right now? My god. Why are you gonna kill all my characters? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm so distraught, guys. But I don't know what to do. So I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Let me know how you feel about all this in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video.